I'm so pleased to present the Marion McDowell Arts Advocacy Award tonight. In response to these pivotal times, we introduced the Marion McDowell Arts Advocacy Award to shine a spotlight on individuals and organizations doing the important work of championing artists so that artists can make the world a better place. Hello everyone, my name is Patricia Smith. Contrary to the belief of nearly everyone, there is a place beyond magic, a place beyond miracle, a place beyond majesty, and that is where Mahogany Brown resides. Along with her role as Urban Words Artistic Director, she is Executive Director of Just Media. She is the face of Urban Word, headquartered in NYC. Urban Word is inarguably one of the country's most electric and influential youth arts organizations, a fierce and formidable community of poets, activists, and educators who write the rules when it comes to the unstoppable force we've come to know as spoken word. So many of the young writers and performers I continue to learn from have perfected their craft at Urban Word. Because of Urban Word, more than 25,000 youth between the ages of 13 and 19 find the tools, the training, and the welcoming spaces to voice and own their own stories and to take leadership roles in their communities, convincing the tentative that every single voice, every single story is legitimate and worth its weight in words. I think the mission of Urban Ward isn't so different from that of McDowell. Urban Ward clearly is working with um, youth, but it's about community, right? It's about providing a space where artists can come together and see themselves as artists and to see other artists and get a sense of what that is. Thank you for all you do, Mahogany L. Brown, and for the great work of Urban Word. It is an honor to receive this award on behalf of Urban Word. Since 1999, the mission of this organization has always centered around youth voice, youth engagement, youth mentorship, and youth literary excellence. In a time where we are constantly battling the effects of silencing, voter suppression, mass incarceration, and the results of climate change, we must listen to our young people. They've been leading us towards a path of equity and equality for so long. We should pay attention. We should pay attention. The youth already know what time it is. Well, in all of my feelings and emotions here, we should bring up uh, the reason that we're here, really, the young people of Urban Word. Elizabeth Schwartz, a 16-year-old writer, artivist, and at the time of this recording, unbeknownst to her, is the newest NYC Youth Poet Laureate for 2022. I was taken by Elizabeth Schwartz's poem, at least. It felt like an ode of sorts to the city, right? Um, um, a young person who sees what's going on, but also um, is very hopeful that something else might be brought about, yeah? There is another reality uh, possible. I think it's fitting that she is the uh, Youth Poet Laureate. Um, when I think about what her work is doing and uh, um, what we hope for um, and really expect from our young people, Elizabeth is currently a student at Staten Island's Technical High School, a member of the Urban Word Slam team. Her poetry and activism have been highlighted by PBS, the United Nations, the Apollo, New York One, Grist Magazine, the Earth Institute at Columbia University, and more. An advocate through entrepreneurship, as well as art, Elizabeth is the co-founder and co-director of Bridge to Literacy, a global U.S. Department of State funded nonprofit that fosters a love of language. Through literacy based mentorship in 100 plus youth across six continents. Wow. Please welcome to the stage Elizabeth Schwartz. In my dreams, I am King Midas, Spectre. Sinner, 
Saint damned if I'm just another spectator, I swallow sunbeams. Slick lips revel in the golden glut of bustling streets. Here they unclench their fists and let the cobblestones clatter to the ground. This is the type of city that burns its maps. A firework is a fickle attempt to bottle miracles, but God damn it, if we can't say we tried, say the mosaics here were beautiful. Iridescent, irradiate, iris, each shade of paint used at least once. Three coats fresh, but we're still going. Are you going to watch the fireworks tonight? Take your shoes off by my doorstep and stay until the dawn cracks us a smile. Stay every night until you too learn to search for paradise within the pavement. If this block were mine, I'd cradle it. All tarp swathed, termite ridden, suckling on the runoff from the American dream. We're going through a drought because they treated the neighbor's pool water with chlorine before they filled our sippy cups at lunch. If this block were mine, I'd let it go. Untether its arms from the HOA's grip until they learn how to stop letting paradise slip through their fingers and back again, soothe the cracks and crevices with cement and instead of bulldozing the bodegas for celery juice stations or the karate dojo for the soul cycle, swap the school desks for stages, keep the children's playground, keep the Russian store, keep the Perigees and Ponchiki. America promised us alimony, but we rescheduled the court date until our pavement reflects the paradise we deserve. Screw anyone who says the smog will be part of our landscape. This landscape does not need your latex gloves. Here, we do not sanitize our roots for the inspectors, for the tenants, for the pedestrians peeking in the windows as if to say, how dare we be Sri Lankan, Sicilian, Soviet strong, and yes, this is still Staten Island. Do not apologize for the cigarette ash or the chipped R's. Our parents didn't have a choice to sharpen their tongues to the tune of standard American English. So shut your mouth before you claim this block as your own. If this block were mine, I'd tear the crabgrass stalk by stalk. Before it chafes another knobbly knee, before the overgrowth curtains away the sidewalk sunbeams and hopscotch tiles, they say we should draw solid, draw straight, draw the first number that comes to mind the gap between the pothole and the picket fence. In my dreams, I am King Midas, specter, sinner, saint. Someday what I touch will turn to gold. Together, we can make this pavement paradise. That was amazing. Yeah, right on, man.